Now for this next step, we're going to want to just jump back into Houdini very quickly so I can explain how we uh, set up our clouds and then we'll head back to Maya and we'll set up our cloud scattering. So Houdini, I've got a little setup here that I just made for a basic cloud. Now we'll walk through this, um, so we'll build a new one. So it's, it's really simple. Um, the main thing we want to take away from this is they're quite easy to build. So it's good to build maybe one or two variations. Um, and then when we feed them into mash, we'll have a few to scatter. So without further ado, let's go back to the beginning of this. So let's just delete this. You want to, in your geo node, jump in and just create a sphere. And we'll switch this from primitive to polygon and we'll increase the frequency to something like, I don't know, six. And then we want to drop down a mountain node, which is like a noise. Yep. And then again, with all the noises, we have lots of options. We'll just leave it as default for now, but we'll increase the height a little bit just to distort our cloud a bit. Um, and actually, if we go back to our sphere a little, uh, let's just, um, Throw down a transform in between the two. I just want to sort of um, scale it up a little bit on an axis. I think not not that one. Uh, on I think X. Yeah. So just so we kind of get that more of a cloud shape, sort of uh, horizontal sort of stretching. So now we have this. This is the the geometry we will work with. Um, and we have the cloud node. So if we throw down a cloud node in Houdini, this basically just um, converts this geometry to a volume. So now we have a very basic cloud volume. So it doesn't look like much, but we can work into this. And we have all the tools we need here, really. So let's leave the, this is um, the kind of the resolution. So the, the sampling um, subdivisions and we can change this to size or max axis. So if we drop this to say 10, then you kind of lot less resolution. And as you increase it, you see we get a lot more voxel resolution. I think working with 50, which was the default, will be enough. Um, so we'll just proceed with that. And then if we go over to our density tab, we have um, density ramp so we can play around with the density and and, and uh, sort of create some variation within there. Um, we'll leave that mostly as default for the, for the time being. And then the scattering shapes, if we go down to secondary shapes, secondary shapes, if we turn that on, nothing happens initially. What we want to do is scatter these um, essentially let's visualize it as polygons to start off with. So, um, whoops. Um, if we increase the scatter points, you could see we've got all these little blobs that appear on our mesh. So what we want to do is just have a, a number of scatter points. Um, we can play around with the scale modifier so we can just have loads of big ones or smaller ones, for example. Um, play around with the noise, uh, <clears throat> shape size. So, and uh, we have the seed as well, so we can play around with the seed. So there's a lot of options. Now, if we turn off the visualizers polygons, we can kind of see a little bit more uh, what's happening to the, the volume. So. Something like that. Um, yep, yeah, and so we've just broken the shape up a little bit more. And uh, then if we go up to the top again and go to the Flatten tab. We can sort of flatten the bottom of the, the cloud out a little bit so it's a bit more like the clouds you might see in the sky. So something like that. And this isn't really broken up enough yet. So let's go back into our nodes and create a cloud noise. And this will just help us to break it up a little bit more. And um, again, we have all these noise options. We'll leave most of these as default. Um, let's increase the amplitude and just 
see what we get. So we get a nice edge break up there. Lots of um, sort of fluffy detail as we'd expect from a cloud. Once we've got something we're happy with, we want to convert this to a VDB. So we throw down a convert VDB node, feed that into our cloud. And we want to change this from volume to VDB. So that's ready to be exported now. So finally we'll create a file node and feed that into there. And then what we want to do is just choose our um, directory. I've already saved one out here. Um, cloud A VDB changes to uh, write files and that will write out our cloud. And then what you can do to create a couple of variations, you know, like cloud B, cloud C, just go in and, and play with a few of the parameters. Um, for example, the transform, you could crazy, create a long cloud or whatever. Um, and we could also, you know, if, if you need something that's going to be closer to the camera or something that you want slightly more resolution, you can go back here and increase the, um, the max axis. So, you know, keep increasing that for a really high resolution cloud or whatever. So create a couple of variations and then we'll go in back into Maya in the next lesson and we'll feed them into our mash network. We'll set up a mash network. We'll put the clouds into that and we'll scatter clouds throughout our landscape. So let's proceed onwards.